Hey guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about routing constraints and how to modify them to allow things like periods in an ID in your URLs. So this came up because recently I was working on Hatchbox and we're adding a API to allow you to add and remove domains from your application. So if customers wanna add their custom domain, you can tell the Hatchbox API, hey, we wanna to respond to this new example.org and um, we'll add that to your web server config. So what we've got here is we've got a Rails app and we're gonna generate something very similar. We're gonna have a scaffold for a domain and we're gonna give each domain a name. And that name is what we wanna use in the URL um, when we're routing instead of the ID, because it's much, much more friendly to use that in our routes. 